Hello. So, um, hello again to another little video. Um, this time I'm going to talk about why Chinese martial arts actually suck and I'm going to let the train pass first. Good. <clears throat> so before I start the video, um, some information or some details for you, what you cannot expect in those series, uh, series I, I'm going to post. First of all, I'm w I will not go through a big editing process and you will not see any 3D animations or whatsoever. Second, I'm not going to discuss any uh, historical facts or uh, his historical liter literature because I think they are much better people out there to give you a much better insight into it. So, then, um, third and for all, I will not cut much in, in the videos because I want you to have like more like a um, class experience than just in just incoming information and experience. So, okay. That said, why do martial arts or Chinese martial arts suck? So, first of all, um, to make it clear, um, Chinese culture do not suck. Ch Chinese martial arts itself do not suck, but the, mar the culture around the martial arts sucks and it sucks heavily. So I pointed out in one other one of my other videos in the German series once um, that the, we have a problem of um, in the West, uh, especially in the West, uh, to understand what is Chinese martial arts actually. Oh, it's for my health. It's good here and whatever. But in the end, um, you can say it's everything and nothing right now because everybody is doing something with that and just give it the same name you you are giving to your art too so, and in my opinion that's um, pretty um, uh, pretty sad because um, I want to give you another example so imagine you are on the web and you uh, and you uh, go you are going through some YouTube videos and somehow you end on um, something called traditional Chinese martial, uh, traditional Chinese medicine. So, and then you, you think it's interesting and it's, it's nice, it's nice to have a little bit knowledge about it. And, and the next thing you do is you sign up for a class. And the first thing the teacher is going to tell you is like, oh, traditional Chinese medicine is to heal everything. You can literally heal everything with that. So, and, <coughs> And um, then you have like an undertone or like you have something subtitle in your mind that it follows you the whole time. Oh, I can heal everything with that. Why? Because it's traditional Chinese medicine. Why? Because they do it for thousands of years. Hmm. So with this assumption, you are going to treat people. And out of nowhere, someone is coming to you with stage three lung cancer and you are still you are you are still lying the seed of um, that that understanding that you can heal him, but you can't. So because everything has its place, and there is no theory for everything. At least at that moment, we don't have a theory for everything. And the same counts for Chinese martial arts. Out of nowhere, out of the martial arts itself, out of, it's, 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 it's good for your health. It's great for your health. Why? Because of qi. And what is qi? It, it's life energy. So, and, 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 and then it goes further and further and further. This is one direction. The other direction is exactly the opposite. You start, because, you start with it because of, because, of, because of health purposes and the teacher is telling you, oh, this is the deadliest art on earth. So, um, first of all, you are only as good as you practice. So, if you are the whole day, wah, 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 
So, and you are not sweating one bit of sweat, of salty, sweaty water. So I can promise you, you will never be a, a, a killing machine. So, and your art will never be good. So, and, um, and uh, this is what, 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 what uh, this is what, uh, and um, that is what we mostly see in, in, this, in the scene of Chinese martial arts. Out of nowhere, everybody can do everything. Oh yes, oh yes, throwing is Chinese martial arts. Oh yes, ground fighting is Chinese martial arts. Oh yes, joint locking is Chinese martial arts. Oh, oh yes, wrestling is Chinese martial arts. So, I'm not saying that in part there can be a truth to that, but there is but the, um, the all in all structure, the all in all design of it does not fit a theory for everything. It, it always should be considered in its context. So if you have like, let's, let's go for a motion. Yeah? Let's, I, I, in the past I've done some Tang Lang, I mean like years ago, but um, for example, one, two, three. So now you can say, okay, hmm, it can be, it can be like a joint lock. You can say, okay, it can be like, um, uh, what's that figure? Uh, 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 is uh, swi swiping the foot, yeah? So th th that you just lose your balance, or you can interpret in it a throw. Pa! Yeah? So when we go through that technique. It's not the first one, it's not the last one, it's one in the middle. The technique, or the, let's say, the motion is made for that thing in the middle. If you want to have a throw, you have to redesign that. If you want to have a joint lock, you have to redesign that technique. You cannot stay on that. For example, I cannot just say, okay, I do bagua, and out of nowhere, this is a throw, and I go the other way. I cannot say, okay, so I do, I do shingi, and this, and my patron is a joint lock. <laughs> so there is maybe a way to interpret that into the motion, into the empty motion without a partner. But the moment you are in contact with a partner, so the circum circumstances changes, and you have to change and adapt your motion towards uh, towards those circumstances. And as more you do that, as as more the, the, uh, as more your 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 movement must change. The movement you are practicing must change. If you think that this is a throw, it's not a throw because when you throw somebody like this, what however he, this guy wants to be, the throw is not devastating. It's not hurting if you not co continue to go on the ground. So if you want to do that, you have to. Ta I'm, I do not. I'm for, and now that's the next point. Okay, I, I'm coming to the next point. But uh, so the motion has to change. So if you right now ask yourself, "Oh, that was a very bad throw," yes, I can't throw. I'm not a grappler. I'm not a wrestler. I know some stuff to get myself in distance and get myself out of out out of these situations, but. I am not a wrestler, I am not uh, a grappler. What I can do is I strike pretty hard and I kick pretty hard if I want. I can do some joint locks and I can swipe, I, I, can, I can do some um, foot swiping so that you lose your balance. But all in all, I have no idea of shui jiao. Yeah? And, my, uh, and me having no idea of shui jiao is still 50% more than than most people teaching shui jiao uh, not, not most people teaching shui jiao i mean i mean these people who who, who teach shui jiao while doing their kung fu classes so um of course there are a lot of great shui jiao people out there so don't get me wrong on this one so and that's the night the next thing to simply say hey sorry i have no idea about that i'm here a beginner too on this on this uh, on this area and um and these things you will not find. You will not find, uh, or you will, you will, you, uh, uh, that, uh, 
you will hardly find in the West and in China you will not find that. So because in China it's a little bit different than uh, the Western assumption of Western uh, of Chinese martial culture. Um, in China it's more like because it is Chinese, it must be great. Yeah? So, but in the end again, it is what it is. And to recite here Mike Martello, after I think somebody asked him about lion dance and he said no I'm just teaching stuff I know about so I'm not teaching anything that I don't know about so and I think we should have that in mind when we are teaching and when we are practicing we practice a specific skill we practice a specific technique but to have something universal it's an easy thing to say oh look it's good for my health I have a connection to God and whatever and I I feel and I kill everybody I kill everybody yes and sorry today I look a little bit like the uh, like the, uh, the crack addicted uh, junkie from the D D Chappelle show but in this manner I hope you like that video if you like to support me you can support me on uh, patreon the link is below and shout out to my first patreon supporter um, Harald Kühn so okay and